Hey, welcome back. Hey, today we're going to take a few minutes and talk about how to achieve a professional quality paint job doing it yourself. And today we're going to talk about guide coats. And what a guide coat is, it's a thin layer of either a guide coat, dry product, 3M, Merca. These are two of the ones that I use. Uh, I've seen people use a cheap can of flat black spray paint. They make also an aerosol guide coat. Uh, a lot of people use a base coat that they've had left over from another paint job, say black or gray. Uh, but I do not recommend that. I mean, especially if you're going to mix brands of paints. This is what I recommend. This product is a little bit more expensive than a 99 cent can of spray paint, but the spray paint you'll have to let dry. That costs time. Also, that paint, if you don't get it completely off, it could come back later underneath your expensive paint job that you put on for yourself. So what we use is this dry. It goes on, shake it up a little bit. This is in a powder form. It's got a really nice, nice soft applicator. It goes on just like this. And what you're going to do, the object is to sand this completely off. And if it doesn't sand off in an area, that's where you've got a problem. It'll get down deep in the cracks pinholes that you miss doing body work, and so on. We'll talk about what types of products we use when we're uh, blocking a car down in the next video. Give you, give you some tips and tricks on different blocks and stuff that, that we use in the industry. But hopefully uh, this will get you going. This uh, this time consuming, but it really makes a huge difference. You really want to be able to find the bad spots and fix them before you spend all that time to put paint on. And basically you can see right here where I've painted the inside already of the dash and everything. This will all get taped up. But the guide coat works kind of like this. This The pr primer on this outside has not been blocked yet. And you can see some of the green overspray that got on the high build primer that hasn't been sanded yet. So when you start to sand that high build primer and the green paint falls down in the little rough areas of the primer. So what you're basically doing with the guide coat is the same thing. The guide coat's down there and you can see that it's got a texture to it. When you start blocking it, you can see how the guide coat is left behind in the areas that need attention. And when you get it all sanded down all the way, you don't see any guide coat left. And you see it, see it going away. Still see some areas that's got some texture to it. That means they're still, it's still not flat right there. And if you were to paint this before you got it flat, then it already starts leaving a texture. And by the time you get your base coat on, two or three coats, and then you get your clear on, three or four, five coats, the more you layer on, the more that texture is gonna grow. So if you can start out with a super smooth surface with no texture, that means your base coat's gonna lay down slick and your first co couple of coats of, of clear will also lay down slick. The more clear you put on, the more texture it's gonna get. <clears throat> I wet, sand, and buff every single job that I do. 
Every single custom car that I build gets wet sanded in all the different stages. And we'll go over that one day. And if, you, if you're ready to do that now, there's a thousand videos out there on YouTube that you can watch. And I would watch them or watch mine when I get it up there. Go through all of those steps after you've clear coated wet sand and buff and it just makes a much better job. But you can see that, we've what we've done. You can see right here in that area, there's still guide coat right there. And see right here, that's just primer. What you wanna do, you wanna just keep going until you get it all off. Now, if there was a pinhole there, it would show up. If you still had a dent, it would show up because this block is hard and it goes right across those dents. But you get the picture. That's just another way, another step that you can take to help yourself create the most beautiful paint job you can doing it yourself. Leave us a message below. Let us know what you use. Uh, I, I'm here to learn as well. There may be something that you use that I've never had a chance of using before, and I might find it easier than the products that I use. But once again, here are the two products that I use. They're ready to use right out of the bucket. No waiting for it to dry. No gumming up the sandpaper. And they're paint friendly. Let us know what you use. Give us a thumbs up and a like. We're about to start giving away some stuff as we uh, reach our 100 viewers. And that was pretty quick. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more tips and tricks. And I promise you, I'm gonna get better at this and it's not gonna be as corny as it is now. Thanks again. See you later.